Jeremy, thank you. Now, what's the spread at your Super Bowl party going to look like? If you're still trying to think of some creative and delicious apps to serve, Texas Roadhouse has you covered, whether it's in the restaurant or at home. Craig and Michelle Phelps back in studio. We always love having you here you. for your mouth-watering recipes. Rattlesnake bites. We haven't done this. This is new to me, and this is something people can easily do at home. So easy. Super, super easy. So it's it's um, the prep process is pretty quick, um, which is always nice. Um, so we'll run through it really quick. Simple ingredients, easy to do at home. So you're going to need um, red bell pepper. Um, just one kind of medium size would be perfect. And you're going to dice that up really fine. And then you're going to do um, two jalapenos. Take those seeds out. Yes, because that's where the heat on is. Fire. Yes. <laughs> Um, you're going to mince those um, jalapenos and then some red crushed pepper. And I've got some um, shredded jack cheese. Um, if you can shred that yourself, like buy and block and then shred it, way better. So we're just going to mix all those things together in the bowl. These are all ingredients I probably already have at my house, with yes. the exception right. of like the bell pepper, because you want those fresh anyway. So yes. this is very simple in terms of ingredients. Sometimes you look at a list and you're like, what is this? Where do I get it? <laughs> I know it's you like, guys are like, I don't know, a La Ponzu sauce, what is this? Yeah. So you're just mixing that. it up like this. So you're just going to get in there. I would suggest putting some gloves on so you don't get that jalapeno juice on your hands because yeah. that. Then you wipe your eyes and then you're in pain. That's a whole lot of not fun. So um, you're going to mix that together really, really good. Um, really get in there and squish that cheese together. And then once you get this all mixed up, you're going to form it kind of into a big ball like you would a dough ball for bread and you're going to take that and just wrap it really tight in saran wrap okay. throw it in the fridge okay and forget about it for a little while okay because you want it to be really really cold so while it's in the refrigerator you want it to sit in there for about 30 45 minutes or so um, you're going to need milk an egg just one egg and then whatever your favorite breadcrumb, fry seasoning mixture, um, anything like that to get a good coating. And um, just whisk that milk and egg together in a bowl. You're going to put your fry coating or breadcrumb separate. And then um, after those snake bites have sat in your fridge and that saran wrap for about 45 minutes or so, you want to take them back out. You're going to unwrap them and you can use a cookie scoop I think would be good. Mm -hmm. I think most people have one of the little, you know, small cookie disher. scoops, yeah. small disher. Um, or you can just use a spoon or you can just use your hands. It doesn't matter. What if I want them huge? I mean, this is what you have here, but I, I yes. like mine maybe more that huge ball size. Is that? You can do it. <laughs> Am I getting crazy it. over no, here? No, not at all. But I guess, yes, an ice cream scoop or something, probably the perfect size. Yes. So um, you want to just ma make sure you get, um, get them mashed together really good. So you're going to get a good tight mashed up ball and then you're just going to dip in the egg mixture the egg and milk mixture and then straight into your breading and get a good coat on top of them just like that and i made a really big one um, that's more my speed there, that's what i would like delicious. if cheese is involved uh, that is all me. that is all you need and you're just going to line them up on a tray and um, work quickly. If you feel like your cheese is starting to get warm and you need to throw it back in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. take a break, throw them back in the refrigerator for a minute. So the refrigerator is what holds it really together yes. and kind of stops it from falling apart when you put in the oil. Correct. Okay. And then after you get them breaded, they're going back in the refrigerator. Okay. Yes. So, so we're really binding it. We're really holding them together. You want them to stay together. Um, the best thing to do is to prep these the night before and let them sit in the refrigerator overnight for and, and get really good and cold. Mm -hmm. um, and then pull them out when you're ready to fry. So I'll pass it over to Craig on how to get those good and crispy Yeah, cooks. you know, uh, grab any uh, sauce pot that you have in your kitchen and any cooking oil, uh, all kinds of different oils out there for different uh, purposes, but any all-purpose oil. Uh, you're gonna bring this to a temperature of around 350 degrees. And after your oil gets good and hot, now another thing, you know, you've let these set in the refrigerator and all those ingredients and all the seasoning, and everything will blend together, get your flavor. You pack those tight and you see she's made some in the studio that are a little bigger than the ones that, you know, she's you doing, might see coming in the restaurant. Kelly size bites. <laughs> Just remember if the bigger you make them, your cook time may vary. That's but a good tip. The smaller, the quicker they will cook, of course. The bigger you might need them a minute longer. 
you're talking on about a minute and a half, two and a half minutes. Uh, you will start to see the color that you're looking for, the golden brown. And uh, if you see some cheese escape around the uh, breading, that's a good sign that they're done. You want to pull those right before you see that, but that is a good sign that your cheese is good and melted. I know if you don't cook them long enough, your cheese could be even cold in the center because it's just a minute or two that you're cooking them. So easy to uh, go over or under on that. We'll just take one of these and drop it in our oil. You'll hear the little sizzle fry. And you can see it going. So when you oh, say yeah. 350 degrees, is that kind of like, you know, a medium heat if you're doing stove top? Yeah, you know, patience is a virtue in the cooking world, but yeah, uh, a medium high, okay. uh, three quarters. And that's good and hot. You can hear that sizzle yep. and hear it going. And so I can yeah, already wonderful. see. Yep. Look at that. That is beautiful. The color. Yep. This is what we want to go to the break on. You see that color <laughs> right there? We're talking rattlesnake bites. And you We're see talking. how quick it was. Yes, it was so quick. The tips and tricks for your Super Bowl party. We're going to have more from Texas Roadhouse coming up and more beautiful bites like that in moments. We'll be right back. <laughs> 